Are you recording? Oh, it is recording! Oh my god. Freaking the timer decides to take a full 10 seconds or 6 seconds or whatever to actually let me know it's going. Anyway, hey everybody, welcome back to Starward Rogue. I got a question for you. So, this game, a single run, is like a single experience as a whole thing. And I feel like splitting up, splitting it up amongst multiple days kind of, sort of, like, makes it disjointed and, and how do I, how do I word this? Um, by splitting up a single run, which is like a two hour endeavor into a multiple day experience, is that what you guys would like to see? Or should I take a single run, split it up and make it like upload it in one day, publish it in one day, or... Should I just make it a single video? I, I'm not really sure what to do. Like personally, I actually, I actually just really like the format of multiple episodes per run because a single run is very long. But I'm afraid that uploading them up, uploading them like once a day is gonna make people lose interest. I don't know, something like that. So if you, if you could just anybody who's watching this, if you could just let me know what you prefer, like what you think I should do. That'd be great. Uh, until I get some kind of like substantial opinion or viewpoint or whatever, I'll just stick with the the multiple episodes and one a day because I, I honestly like that format a lot more. I think it's a bit more, a bit more, not necessarily my style. It's just. It's it's more fun for me, I guess. Anyway, that aside, I don't even know. Oh my god, root beer, please. <laughs> I don't even know who I want to play as today. I'm kind of thinking... I'm kind of thinking Green Envy, just because it sounds interesting. That's That's pretty much the only reason I'd bother, honestly. Because it sounds interesting. Um, you get a good chance to get stuff. Luck. Lots of luck. <laughs> More XP to level up, etc, etc. I might actually start, um, recording multiple episodes over multiple days, come to think of it. In the same run, though. It depends on how I, on how I feel about things. Anyway, let's go Green Envy. I'm gonna stick with normal difficulty because that felt pretty good last time and it wasn't exceptionally easy. A little bit easier. Last time, that run ended in the stupidest freaking way. I picked up some perk thing that was called Assassination, I think, and it actually killed me. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see what Green Envy starts with. We got uh, Shooty McShoot. We have... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's a minigun. Jesus, that's terrifying. All right. This is, this is an, inter an interesting character. Yeah, of course I'm going to see what this is. 100 max energy, but it leaks out during each room. Really? <laughs> sure, why not? Why not? Oh my god. Hey, hey, guess what, buddy? You know what I have? Minigun! <laughs> High capacity minigun, what you gonna do? The answer is nothing. You can't do you can't do squat to me with this thing. Hehehe. <laughs> Get destroyed. Of course, I run out of ammo pretty quickly, so it's not the best thing in the world, but that's fine. So that is easily one of those, like, hilariously run-altering things I just picked up. Ooh, for three seconds all weapons are free. That is, like, exactly what I'd want to see. I like it. Do these bombs just have a really, really big blast radius? Like, bigger than normal, or, or am I seeing things? I might be seeing things. I've only launched one so far this run, so I really can't say for certain. Okay, let me just... Alright, so that's what the map looks like. Because remember, I have that um, recording HUD in the corner, and it makes it difficult to see things sometimes. Alright, I understand how you work now. Fine, keep 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 put, keep building up your shield. See what I care. I I, I actually do care a lot. Try and please don't stop that. Stop with your shields, you mini. You try. <laughs> the mini boss is actually called a try. In case you didn't notice. Who's in here to shoot? Oh, hi. Who else? Sweet. Nice and simple. I, I appreciate simplicity. It really, really makes my life so much easier. Alright, what are we looking for? 
Um, there's that Blinky McBlinker in there, which is exactly where I'm going. Okay. okay, that is definitely a really big blast radius. Good to freaking know. Oh my god. Terrifying. Actually terrifying. I like it. So we have one of these little shops here. What are you again? Plus four energy for your ammo weapons. Is that like plus four max energy or... I have no idea. Um... Yeah, I should buy a key card, I think. Just so I actually have two handy. All right, where to next? Let's try heading down. Yeah, let's see what's let's see what's down this way. You know what is down this way? Minigun. <laughs> Seriously, this 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 thing is so much fun. It's ridiculous what it is. Um is this just a... Oh, I can just... Oh, that's weird. Health upgrade storage. So is this... That is not what I wanted. I want to open the door. Let me in. Thank you. So this is something I could just take. One max health at the expense of five energy. <laughs> that is such a negligible trade for me. Oh my god. Can I hit that explosive back there? I feel like I should... Uh, there's that thing in the way. It's not going to happen. Unless... Yeah, no. Thing is just right in the way. Consumable shop, given that I have so few credits, really doesn't interest me. So, see what else we can find. Lots of neat stuff, I'm sure. Minigun! Complete and total waste! I don't care! <laughs> it's too good not to waste. And it's not even that I'm wasting it. I mean, my energy gets replenished at the end of a room anyway. So it's not a waste. It's just uh, something I don't necessarily need to be doing, but I am. For whatever reason. If you were wondering why I decided to destroy that thing, the answer is entirely because. Yeah, that... Uh, that battery thing... That I picked up, that leaky battery, seems to be pretty dang awesome with this uh, secondary weapon. I'm enjoying it. Okay, so we have one of those secret room type of things there. What you got? Repo van. Gain credits from killing enemies, infinite energy until hit. I feel like I need to try this again. Shrink your mech making. I really feel like I need to try this again. Like, I really, really do. But, if I remember correctly, the way this works is once you're- it's, it's a permanent thing, so once you're hit, then your infinite energy is just gone forever. Something like that. So, I guess it really wasn't necessary? But it is extremely useful for a whole host of reasons, and I'm sure you can easily figure out what those are. Seriously, goddamn. That is some incredible damage output right there. Oh, you're still you're still alive. You little ones. Yeah, that's right, get wrecked. Carrying this will save you from death once, but consumes all your current energy. Wait, so. I I didn't lose anything. What? I'm confused. I'm actually confused. Okay, whatevs. Let's see. Uh, missile capacity? No. Max energy. <laughs> I'm so tempted. More energy? More energy? Or damage? Let's go with more energy. Why not, right? Uh, and yeah, I think I'm good to go. Well, I... I could check the consumable shop. I don't- I, I hardly think it's going to matter. What are you? Make it to the next floor within three minutes for a bonus. That is not gonna happen. Like, no way. Presence chills nearby enemies, slowing them and causing minor damage. Huh. That actually sounds pretty- pretty cool. I think- I think I should take that. What does it look like? Uh, so it must just be an aura of some general range near me. Cool. I'm down. I 
I still have infinite energy right now. <laughs> infinite energy with this crazy ass minigun. This is the best. This is actually, this is actually the best. What am I looking at? Looks like I opened a secret type room of some sort. Why did it look like I was exploding slightly? Why does it look like I'm exploding slightly? Why am I exploding slightly? I am confused. Oh, a missile. Alright. Alright. Into the fray! Let's kill stuff! Kill things! Shoot things! Crazy ass minigun! I am I am immensely enjoying this weapon. Oh no, I got hit! Oh, what hit me? Oh, uh, must have been one of these little shots. I just didn't notice. Well, that's... Oh, they're coming through the... Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God. That's... That's terrifying, actually. Right. I'm not the only one who can use those. You know what? I'm gonna use a couple bombs... A couple bombs. A couple missiles just to save myself. Okay, this is actually terrifying now. And I'm afraid for my safety. Jesus, that's not cool. I mean, it's cool. It's it's definitely, like, objectively cool, but that's just not cool. Y you feel me? I don't think I need the tactical EMP. What are you? Double value from credit drops and ener energy after killing enemies. This is a terrible idea. Taking that is absolutely a horrendous idea. I would completely recommend against it. And that may have been the coolest thing ever. Because now killing things lets me use this minigun even more. Oh my gosh. Minigun, boys. Minigun for days. Where am I going? This is a maze. Um. Okay. I am a little confused, but that's fine. I guess this is just an exercise in patience then, huh? That's what it seems to be. Not a problem. I may not have an incredibly abundant stock of, of patience, but I have enough. What is this thing, and why do I see them all over the place? I still don't know what they do, if anything. Oh, this just takes me there, huh? Sure. A couple of missiles, why not? Let me through. Okay, where am I going? You know what? You know, I was really hoping I could hit down here and the radius would catch the... Where do I need to go? I need to go this way. Hold on. There's no reason for me not to get these. Okay, I can't go that direction, but I can go this way, and then down and around. Hello! You can't hide from me? Oh god, that's... That's not cool. That's not cool. Limited mobility! And enemies that can do that kind of thing. Um... Oh, there's the last one, I guess. Hey, you. Stop destroying my shots with your own. That's not cool. I don't appreciate... You know what? Fine. Fine, then. Suit yourself. I'll go... I did not mean to go that way. I meant to go around. Now I feel really stupid. Oh, hey, I had the, the explode enemies nearby. Ooh, max shield plus one. I already start with this, actually. Fun fact. So let's go with uh, go with more shields because please and thank you. Okay, where am I going? Well, the first place I'm going is right here. Into this way. There's nothing here. Well, there's not necessarily nothing. There's just. God damn that blast radius. So this is the boss. Let's try looking at well. Eh, let's just fight the boss now. Battle Swarm. Alright. Ooh, this is cool. I 
I completely forgot I don't have infinite energy anymore. My bad. Ooh, these are some really interesting bullet patterns you got here, friend. Oh my. Oh my god. Alright. I see how it is. Nah, this is not a problem. It's a little sketchy looking. It's gonna require a lot more dodging than I thought, but that's still fine. Oh, Jesus. How do I get in there? Like, legit, how do I actually get in there to hit this thing? With all this stuff going on. I guess it's mostly just a matter of... Recognizing where stuff is going and moving accordingly, huh? Where stuff is going to go. Hello? Nah, this is easy. Easy peasy! So easy you could be squeezing lemons while doing this. That... That's just a really, really terrible joke. About the phrase, easy peasy lemon squeezy, in case you've never heard it. It's a, it's a classic. I'm just gonna chill right here. 100% safe. Nice. Okay, can I have all these credits and stuff, please? And a key card too. Hmm. Sure. Now, what could this thing be? I will investigate shortly. What do we got? Taking damage will phase you. No. Like, that's cool. That's definitely a really good item, but I much prefer the defensive attachment I have right now. Far, far more valuable in my opinion. I didn't even realize just how good it was until that room with the maze where I was killed an enemy that I really couldn't safely approach at all. This is a bit of a wake-up call. This music is still this, the best thing. Like, legit the best thing. And also this minigun! Look at this ridiculousness! It's amazing! It's so good! More max energy? Sure! Sure, sign me up! Absolutely I will! Mini boss. Mini get wrecked! Destroyed! Annihilated! Eviscerated destruction. I am not D1. I am. That's that's a uh, D1 is a very prominent uh, Smash Brothers competitor. Com com competitor. Well, he does compete sometimes, but mostly he is a um, commentator. He is especially well known for saying the word destruction in the most incredible ways. I am not D1, but I can call destruction when I see it. I have actually very strongly been considering um. Well, screw you too! I have very strongly been um, considering getting into Smash Brothers commentary. Just because I think it's something I could do pretty well. But that's that's a story for another time. So this is a different um, primary weapon. Fires a round that fragments into smaller rounds on impact, deals massive damage with direct hits. Oh, so it's like a it's like a frag gun. Like a, like a frag cannon. You know what? This sounds really cool. Let's try it. And weapon shop, sure. Let's investigate at least. Increases max energy by 80, reduces max health by 2. Gain 25 damage until you heal your hull. Or a battering ram, no way. See, now this would be valuable if I actually had a decent amount of max HP. I don't. I can barely take any hits as is. Why yes, If you, in case you're wondering, I did actually just take that. Yeah, yes, I did. This is a terrible idea, and I would recommend against ever, ever copying me. Okay, I'm a little worried at how relatively weak this thing feels. But it seems so good, though. Well, it, it doesn't necessarily seem good so much as it seems super unique. And I am all for that stuff. All about seeing the new things I can discover in this. Ooh. Oh, this is a, this is a health up right here by the way. This is... This is a health up. I'm, I'm getting my stuff back. I have no idea what the range is on this thing. But apparently it is amazing. Oh my god. Does it just not have a maximum range? 
That's some, that, that, wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow. All kinds of wow. I am being incredibly patient right here because I really, really am very bad at walking over these spikes. Or more specifically, maneuvering around them. Aw, oh, you're really gonna be one of those dudes? You just block all my stuff? I see how it is. Oh, y'all get wrecked. I have a minigun with an insane amount of ammo. Is that it? Am I done? I am done. Seriously, the, 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 the total shot capacity on this thing is just astounding. It just is so good. Defense shop, sure. I can't buy that. I don't care. That, that doesn't seem very good either. Well, fine then. That was a bit of a waste of a key card, but I don't care that much. So this is a little bit of a terrifying situation because I am still very, very, very low on total max health. But holy crap, minigun. Freaking minigun. This ridiculous freaking I oh wow. I'm, I'm sorry, I just really, really like this thing. In case you couldn't tell, give me them missiles, please. Tactical nuke is good. I, I feel like what I have is actually probably completely negligible now that I have ba like a huge amount of total capacity for it. So let's just take this thing instead. This might, this might ultimately be a better idea. It's possible. Oop, wrong way. At the very least, this is going to allow me to have a much, much easier time with a boss in the future if I really, really need it. I should not have gone through there. I completely forgot which, right, which, which direction I was meant to be going. You know what? I should actually, um... Realistically, I should maneuver around here and try and find the missiles I've left behind. That's not where I want to go. Because I'm a little low on missiles and there's, I think, four lying around in this room. Yeah. There's two here and two off down that way. I'm just gonna grab these before I leave. Sweet. And out of here. Next floor. Damn, that went surprisingly quick like. I guess I'll do the next floor here in, uh, in the first episode then. Have at least two familiars when entering the next floor for a bonus. Well, you know what? If I can find a robot shop, might as well start saving my credits now. Mission. Oh, this is, um, this dodging thing here. I can do this. Granted, I'm not the best at it, but I can do it. Yeah, nice and easy. Nice and easy. I did take one hit, but I don't think that matters too much. Radiate fire. Uh, no. The cryo freeze thing is way better. Or whatever it's called exactly. I wasn't completely paying attention. But it just seems way, way better. I don't even need to use my primary weapon. This is the best thing. Also, I feel like my fire rate got a boost, and I don't know why. Alright, that's fine too. Yeah, definitely one of those I want to reset everything type of situations. Aha! Oh, right, fire. Sweet. Health shards! Getting that health back! It's coming back. Um, where am I? Where am I going? I, I don't fully understand where it is I'm meant to be going right now. Who's alive? Oh, it's you. Yeah, that's right. I just wanted to blow that thing up and get it over with. Didn't really feel like skirting around it too much. Oh, we're at the boss. I didn't even realize. And it's Invader. This should be fun. Did I mention this should be fun? Because, like, this should be a lot of fun. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Minigun! Minigun! Oh my god, it's amazing! Because killing, killing enemies replenishes my energy. 
Okay, I need I need to know. I don't think that affects my energy weapon, but look at this. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Max health. Hell yes. That is that's perfect. That's actually perfect. Okay. Next goal, find a robot shop. Got to get them familiars so I can get this bonus. Not that I really, really need that bonus, but it would be super nice to have. God damn, this is so good. This is, this, this freaking minigun. It's just, it's amazing. It's just genuinely amazing. Who's alive? Oh, it's you. Seriously. Uh, let's go this way. That's everyone here. Sweet. Too good. Way too good. Look at this. Look at this! I don't even need to care. It's not necessary. There's no reason to even bat an eyelash right now. Oh boy. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um... 2% damage multiplier for your primary weapon. Sounds pretty okay. Increases max energy by 40. You know what? If I don't find a robot shop, I'm gonna come back for that. Because more max energy. Not that I even remotely need any more. But the thought of it alone. So good. Oh, credits. I need those. I, I would actually really like to get those if I can. How should I go about doing that, though? Oh, right. I was gonna exit the room and re-enter to refresh the positioning of stuff, but I guess this is fine too. Nice. Functionally infinite use of, of the friggin' minigun. So long as there are enemies in the room. What are you? Lose all energy, but weapons are free for five seconds. I... I hardly think that's even remotely important right now. Okay, so let's see. If I can just zip in here. And this is the part where I need to be very patient. Oops. Damage boost. Forget it. Damage boost. <laughs> eh, it worked out. It worked out. Ultimately. Let's try this way. Destroy everything. Why are you moving so much? Jesus. You're a quick one. Ooh, right, there's a health there's health shards apparently. That's fine. Minigun, minigun! Oh no, I took a hit! I don't care! Oh no, I took another hit. I should probably try caring now. Hoo-hoo! Woohoohoohoohoo! So good. So good! Health sacrifice shop always visible. Double credits from drops or more rare loot from chests. Ooh, let's go with double credits from drops. Why not, right? Hello. Yeah. Y'all can't do anything about this minigun, so my, maybe you might as well just, like, give up already. Seriously. There's nothing you can do about this. I am, like, the ultimate destroyer of everything you know and love. And that's it. That's all there is to this. Except you. You little fricker. Your ability to destroy my shots. Gosh. So I am going to end up very, very rich, very, very quickly. With the double credits from drops thing. You know, the one problem that this minigun has is that it's not actually exceptionally powerful. It's not killing things very quickly. It's destroying everything, but that's entirely just because of the nature of, you know, how quickly I can fire and how much I can actually fire it. But it's not powerful. Not even a little bit. 
I, I guess, okay, I guess it's powerful in terms of, like, actual, um, efficacy. In terms of its, its ability to kill, to destroy things. But it's not powerful because each of these individual shots is still very, very weak. Alright, now I have to use my primary weapon for once. And now I don't. Because energy generation. Are you a robot shop? You totally are. Fires in the direction... Okay, so this is the tag team drone. Cripples enemies and makes light shows. Give me all of them. Why are you... Oh, you were shooting the... Oh, so you're just always shooting at me. Cool. I'm down. I'm gonna do my best not to kill any shopkeepers on this run. Because, honestly, truly, that sounds like a really silly idea given that I have double credit drops. Or double credit amounts gained from credit drops. It's just like, why would I, why would I want to destroy shopkeepers if I have that? Oh. Something got in my left eye. Ugh, that's irritating as hell. Well, that's okay, though. What she got in store, huh? New room? Oh, you've got things that can actually hit me. That's unfortunate. Hold on. That thing in my eye is now very in my eye. Oh, God, get out. Get out, get out, get out. Nobody asked for you to be there. Oof. Oof. Okay. Ah. Oh, my eye still hurts. Oh, it's painful. Oh, it's so painful. Yeah, having that drone that shoots at me is actually really distracting. It's not a bad thing, it's just really distracting. Okay. That just puts me right in the fray, huh? I see how it is. Oh no, my energy is gone again. You know, if you could just keep these homing things away from me, I would appreciate it. Because there is very little I can do about them currently. I am taking a lot of really stupid hits. Yeah, well, this is really good to know, at least. Really, really good to know that this, this drone that shoots at me, that I can tag team with, is very, very freaking distracting. Seriously. God damn. There is literally no reason not to do that. Very, very distracting. It's something that's, that's just gonna straight up take a lot of time for me to acclimate to, but that's fine. Okay. Those little red dudes are remarkably tanky. Give me the health. I want the health. What are you? You are a weapon shop, sure. Maybe I can find a better primary weapon. Improves fire rate, increases damage, that sounds amazing. Um... No. And... No. Let's get this thing. More fire rate, more damage. Why not, right? Where are the credits? The map suggests to me there are credits here. There are credits here. Sure. All right. One more room, huh? One more room, and then I think I'll probably call the episode. Almost one more room. There is a sacrifice, health sacrifice room to investigate. Man, that freezing aura thing is so so valuable. It's not even that it's super good. It's just like I can just walk up to things and they break sometimes. Which is fantastic. As I'm sure you can probably imagine. Let's see what this thing's got for me. Oh, right. You do that, don't you? Okay, so you've got Map of the Stars. Reveals the floor. You've got this thing, which I don't really need. And then you've got Revenge Rams. I don't think any of these are really worth my health. So I'm going to ignore them. So let's go check this last room.
And by check this last room, I mean let's just go eviscerate this last room with my remarkably low damage, crazy, super mega high fire rate minigun. Alright, so this dude is hilarious looking. Can I actually hit you at all? Eh, kinda. Alright, I guess there's another room. That's fine too. No problem. Crazy, crazy high mega rapid range. You can't do crap to me, bitches. Um, another room, really? Uh, okay. Sweet. Wait, there's another room? Oh my god. Oh, hi. Yoink. Any other of those? Perhaps? Ooh, what are you? Increases max missiles by two and refills missiles? Sure. Why not? So this is the big item thing. What do you have other than a health shard, I see? What do you... What is this? You are... Reduce energy cost by 20%! <laughs> oh my god. I have to. I get a new perk, too. Uh, 5% crit chance, why not? So look at the look at the total number of shots that this, uh, this minigun thing has when I enter a room. It's like 200 something. Just phenomenal. Absolutely crazy. I love it. All right. Now, let's go ahead and pop down to the next floor and I'm going to end the episode. If it's all the same to you guys. Which, it has to be. Because I do what I want. Etc. Wait, where am I going? No, I want to go this way. Navigating is still difficult for me for some reason. It's almost like I suck at this game. And I still have this tactical EMP for use as necessary. I have not found a use for it yet, but I have it at least. Into the boss room. And... Yeah, down we go. Entering floor four. Wow, through the first three floors in one episode. That's that's pretty good, I think. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, you can click like. I would still highly recommend that you guys get this game because holy crap, it is so good. Please. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more. See you next time. I'm Ollie's Audi. Catch you later. Yeah.